Good day, my beautiful souls. This is Isis. I've come to you today to discuss, as we were yesterday, of the natures of masculine, feminine, and men in general. Now, for you women who ponder about if your spouse or significant other has done anything which you would not do yourself. As we talked about yesterday, for a woman it's a very different energy and it's all about the energy. Not, rather than looking at whether or not the man in your life has participated in something that you would not like or disagree with completely, um, let's take another look. What about his energy? Do you enjoy his energy? And I'm not talking in a physical way, I'm just talking in general. When he comes in the house, how do you feel? Are you guys kismet? Do you feel an alignment? Because if you're not getting that, if he's taking from you, and I mean even finances, whatever it is, you are not hitting your full, blossoming, beautiful jewel of the feminine. You are allowing the masculine to basically rule you from your own self, not from the other side. Because you are holding masculine energies and I don't think that's of your best qualities. You were born a woman and embrace your femininity. Embrace who you are. It isn't easy, I know, because I grew up a very tomboy kind of personality. Um, it took me years to actually figure out what the feminine was. I was even informed once, why can't you be more like, and then giving descriptions of cultures in the East who are considered to be quite feminine. Um, and I couldn't understand my sudden difference between me and them. So how can you embrace your feminine energy and let go of that masculine who keeps giving to the man? I don't want you giving to any man. You should be taking. You are a receiver. You're not a giver. Don't do it. So how are you going to embrace it? Drink. For women, you should drink rose tea. Do it for 30 days. Just do a fast. Rose, rose, rose. Rose in your hair, rose on your body, rose oil, rose teas. Love the rose, be a rose. You are a beautiful jewel. Now as for the masculine, if you're embracing the feminine energies, we all have masculine and feminine energies, but we need to embrace the primary of what we are so that we can become who we truly are and reach our higher self. So if you are a masculine who's embracing the feminine, I think you should be drinking, let me remember the name, sage, sage tea. So women go with roses, men go with sage and do it for 30 days. Sage yourself even, you know, just burn the sage. But um, you will find for the masculine, you will build your boundaries. You'll like become the man. And for the feminine, you will build your love. You're embracing your feminine and you will become the woman. Then you can decide, okay, do I need to solidify some boundaries here? What do I need? But right now, let all that go. Let everything go and embrace your energy for now and more later. Have a beautiful day.